Here is how much YouTube paid me in 2023 as someone with just over 12,000 subscribers. The majority of these subscribers I gained in 2023 and 2023 was also the first full year of my channel being monetized. In the last 12 months, I posted 77 times and don't let the 43 mislead you. Only about a quarter of these were long form videos. The rest of them were videos that I repurposed from TikTok. And the rest were shorts that I also repurposed from TikTok. Shorts is anything under a minute. Anything over a minute is classified as a video. So on average, I posted about once every five days. My trends across a view count, subscriber gain, and revenue were fairly consistent throughout the entire year. So I didn't have any exponential increases, but I also didn't have any declines, which I was really happy about. Interestingly, my top performing videos in terms of views, but also in terms of revenue were actually videos that I posted in 2022. And this is what I love about YouTube is the long shelf life of videos that do well. The first five videos that I made the most money from in 2023 were not posted in 2023. And in fact, some were posted in 2021. Here's a recap of how much money I made in ad revenue for the last six months of 2023. In December, which is still ongoing, I've made 176 Australian dollars, November 192, October 230, September 222, August 244, and July 184. My average for the year was around the 220 to 230 dollars a month. But the grand total ad revenue that I made in 2023 was 2202 dollars and 93 cents. If you have ever wanted to start a YouTube channel, please, please, please do yourself a favor and start the damn thing in 2024. It's not about the subscriber count, the view count, or how much money you make. If you treat it as a long-term investment and you try and grow it sustainably, it probably will bring you opportunities that you can't even foresee. That could be in the form of subscribers and revenue, but it could also be in the form of other opportunities. For example, for me, YouTube has been a bit of an organic discovery funnel for people booking my mentoring and product management coaching one-on-one -on -one calls. It has been an organic funnel whereby people have reached out to me to join their startup. It has been a funnel whereby amazing brands have reached out to me for collaborations. It's been a way for me to set myself up as a thought leader in the product management and tech space. If you're still watching this, I'm going to assume you do have that inclination to start a channel. Just do it, link your channel here when you've done it and I will go and check it out.